Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Cork and Board, pairing good food with good wine. Tonight, we're going to be seeing at how a Pinot Noir pairs well with seafood. Now, a Pinot Noir is one of the most popular black grape varieties, which is to say the types of grapes used to make red wine. It is well known for being lighter in color, taste, and softer on the tannins, and also for being an incredible challenge to grow. So anyone who can make a good quality vintage Pinot Noir year after year is in good standing. Tonight's wine happens to be out of the New Zealand region. This is the 2017 Oyster Bay Pinot Noir out of the Marlboro area. I've had this before. It's quite a light tasting and very pleasant, and I find that it is one of the best red wines out there for pairing with seafood. Now to pair with our Pinot Noir, we are bringing back Albacore Tuna onto the show, and I'm really excited. I've got my tuna shirt on, I am pumped. We are gonna be making some seared Albacore Tuna. Now what that means is that we are going to season and then sear the exterior at very high heat for a very short amount of time on the grill. And what this is going to do is it's gonna kill off any bacteria on the outside edges, toast it up a little bit, but preserve the raw textures and flavors that tuna is so well known for on the inside. We're then also gonna make a side dish of some sushi rice cakes and a little bit of grapefruit. And we're actually gonna get started on those first because they're gonna take a lot longer than our tuna. So stick around, let's keep watching, let's get cooking. And hey, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. We publish new content every single week. Now, let's get down to business.
So we've got this gorgeous piece of tuna loin here, but we need to just do a quick once over before we get started. Just make sure that there are no bones. And the best way to do that is to just feel it out. If you feel any really rigid spots, and yeah, I'm getting a few just right in here, which is really inconvenient, right in this fold. You can feel, and those are most likely little shards of bone that I really don't want people eating. So we're gonna have to take some time and actually extract those, which is not gonna be the most pleasant thing, but we gotta do it anyway, so let's get to it. So we're out here on the grill, it's already getting up. You can see that it is already smoking away behind me. And that's because we're gonna be grilling these using the infrared grill. And this is a much more powerful grill. We're gonna use the cast iron skillet with a lot of oil to hopefully keep it non-stick and not be on there much, but it needs to be grilled for a very short period of time. We're talking 10, 20, maybe 15 seconds per side, and then these are gonna be done. So let's get them grilled. All right, let's eat. How is this tuna? I am dying to find out. Mm, that toasted sesame seed flavor just hits you immediately and it's quite delicious. The olive oil is just giving it, just taking it off that little bit of burnt, but it's still got that toasted feel. And then you're moving into the rich, the rich tuna meat right underneath it. So how does that taste with a Pinot Noir? That is heaven. That is heaven. <laughs> it is light, it is smooth. There is nothing harsh about this. It's just pure fruit with a slow, light finish of tannin at the end. Oh, it makes you just want to have another sip of wine, frankly. Mmm. Mmm! God, that's good. Oh. What about a little piece of grapefruit? 
That's a good piece of grapefruit. Not too sweet, not too sour. Should be for some excellent pairing. I am actually mistaken on that one. The grapefruit is maybe a little too much. It's way too smooth. It's everything is just glossed over and there's a bit of a bitter taste given to everything with it. So maybe not the grapefruit, but it does make for an excellent dish and it does go well with the rest of the food, just not with this wine. Maybe a white wine would be better if you're serving citrus fruit. And lastly, we have our rice cake. Get a little piece of avocado on there. And this is basically just like having a vegetable sushi roll in a slightly different format. But again, our wine. Smooth, maybe not the best. The starchiness is getting into it a little bit and it's meddling a little bit, but the broad stroke flavors, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now that I've been talking to you for 10 seconds, just hits me with this very subtle undertone that's coming all the way in the bottom of my mouth and it's got this punch to it, but still, you know, I think the tuna is definitely the best one for this to go with, and it's definitely the star of this meal by far. And that is it for this episode, everyone. Thank you so much for joining along. Don't forget to like, comment, and pour over that subscribe button, and we will see you next week. Take care.